everyone welcome to another studio vlog so i am actually doing an intro but i've already done most of the vlog but yeah i already know what i've done this week so i can let you know what you're gonna watch yeah so most of this vlog is going to be me working on autumn week which was a drawing prompt started by amanda otherwise known as amanda louise and yeah you can still take part in the challenge even though it has finished by this time but yeah that was a lot of fun um although i wasn't entirely happy with the illustrations i created which i will talk about in the vlog and the sun is suddenly blinding me um so yeah we're just gonna get into the vlog and i will see you back here at the end so i got my ipad back so i'm very very pleased that that is working again and i'm using this all this week and there's going to be a lot of drawing and I'm taking part in Autumn Week. I'm also one of the hosts for Autumn Week. So I thought I would draw some more of my tiny people. So I, I've done these a couple of times. I did them for like the Blueberry illustration and I've done them for the, like the Berry Girls. And yeah, I will put up some pictures of where I've drawn them before. But I thought it'd be fun for this drawing challenge to do them again. And they're all like autumnal prompts. Um, as it is autumn week. Today is Tuesday. It is the end of September. It is the 22nd of September. So I will show you like the time lapse for the illustration that I did yesterday. And yeah, I'm really pleased because I feel like I'm starting to get to grips with making my digital art look a bit more traditional and i've actually just been testing out some procreate brushes that i bought from design cuts um yeah not a sponsored thing just i thought i would try out some new brushes um i say new brushes these are the first brushes that i've ever bought because usually i just use the brushes in procreate but i thought it'd be fun to test out some more ones and these are like a sort of set of like different pencils um i'll show you like some of them on the screen and sort of the different marks that you can make this is the current pencil that comes with procreate anyway which is the 6b which i really like yeah so this is the pencil pack that i got from design cuts so these are all the brushes that it comes with so there's this fill brush which is good i think for doing like large areas i'm working on quite a large canvas at the moment as well yeah so there's a few quite nice sort of like texture ones which are like quite quite large brushes for like filling in big areas and then there's like some cross hatch ones yeah the ones i like the best are i like this pencil one And I like this blunt one. Um, the grunge scribbler is nice as well. It's got quite a nice texture. Um, but yeah, when I was testing these brushes out, I was having a look at one of my like real life pencil sketches just to sort of see what kind of textures I already had. And then I was like testing the brushes out just to see which ones kind of, which ones kind of like matched the best. This chunky one's quite nice as well. Yeah, they've got quite a lot of sort of hatching ones as well, which I don't know if like it's quite fun to use, but I think for the type of thing that I'm doing, I don't know what I'd use these ones for. Um. But yeah, my favourite ones, I think my favourite ones are definitely the Grunge Scribbler, the Chunky, uh, the Blunt and the Pencil. So the prompt for today is called Falling Leaves. I'm going to draw <laughs> some falling leaves. I'll either draw like maybe somebody under a leaf or I kind of thought it might also be fun if I draw like a leaf falling and then maybe like a tiny person on the leaf, almost like they're sort of like kind of floating down with the leaf, like sitting on it, like it's some sort of like ride or something. 
But yeah, so I've done my rug, which I thought would be really fun to have these tiny people on leaves, kind of like falling down a little bit, like they were like sort of tobogganing or something like that. And I've realised that I've been drawing without using my desk easel, which is probably not great for my neck. And I don't think I actually used this at all yesterday. Oh. Yeah, so I think I need to work out what kind of characters to do, do a little bit more detail there, and then I can start the final illustration. actually get started on the next one and I've also been thinking because we're at the end of September and October is going to be next week and I've been thinking <laughs> do I want to do Inktober this year or not and currently I'm thinking maybe not because <laughs> um yeah I, I think maybe if I'd like planned everything better yeah so ideally I was going to have done all the roughs for this already um, which didn't happen <laughs> because I was like busy with doing shop stuff which I really really enjoy and then I thought it'll be fine I'll just do like two illustrations a day <laughs> but it's all very well like I can do this stuff where I'll like write my to-do list down and I'll be like oh yeah that'll be fine like I'll get this and this and this done but writing it down and then <laughs> actually doing it and having the time to do it like you could get it done within the time but then maybe it just wouldn't look the way you want it to look so you kind of can't have it both ways you can't have like a really detailed like full illustration and also have it done like quickly anyway i thought i would get a star make a start on tomorrow's illustration but yeah so tomorrow's prompt is pumpkin carving so i thought it'd be sweet to have like kind of stars in a pumpkin i do a little bit now maybe i can get a little bit ahead uh, good morning it is wednesday morning i have got toast and a cup of tea i kind of yeah i just felt a little bit busy with like all the shop stuff um i'm feeling if i'm honest I'm feeling a little bit kind of tired and <laughs> I've only done two days so yeah I'm thinking that I'm not gonna do Inktober yeah just when I sort of think about doing like a month of drawing every day right now I'm just like mm, no <laughs> I think I think I'll um I'll see what everybody else is doing um but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do Inktober this year. I think the rule for me should just be, I can do some kind of challenge if I've actually like made a start, done the roughs, and maybe also started the pieces as well, because like it kind of makes sense to start in advance and like give yourself a few days to kind of catch up yeah give yourself a few days like leeway because otherwise you're doing it every day and there's like weekends and stuff as well but i'm quite pleased because yesterday whoa did a weird spinny thing yesterday i actually managed to do quite a lot of the prompts for today so um today's prompt is carving pumpkins and so i thought i'd do a pumpkin already carved and i thought it'd be cute to have like a little couple sitting on the pumpkin and like it's all like sort of stars and things cut out of the pumpkin that 
is pretty much done. I thought I'd just, I thought I'd test it out and see what it looks like with a blue background. Um, the other ones I have just had a white background, but I thought I'll test it out and see how it goes. I'm gonna have to try not to like keep adding all the like little details and like I, I enjoy adding little details here and there and like adding a bit more like shadowing and yeah just the little things yeah I think sometimes when <laughs> when you're trying to do like a drawing every day sometimes you have to be like okay no it's done I feel like maybe I could come up with some tips on how to do a drawing challenge just based on what I haven't done <laughs> like based on the mistakes I've made so far maybe give yourself a time limit that sounds like a good tip don't give yourself all the colors like have a very limited color palette and yeah don't keep changing your mind <laughs> about what colors you're gonna make certain things just like kind of make a decision and stick to it and yeah do the roughs and get started ahead of time <laughs> that would be my biggest tip yeah i feel pleased that i've made the decision not to do inktober i think i was just sort of thinking oh my god i've got this challenge that i'm doing right now and then a whole <laughs> month afterwards and i was sort of thinking about all the other things that i've kind of put on pause like i still haven't had a go on the cricket like the book projects that i'm working on i kind of yeah that's on pause at the moment as well tom has actually offered to pack my orders for me usually i pack monday and thursday he like he often checks what orders i have on etsy and he's been getting like really into it which is like really sweet and yeah it's really nice when he's like oh you've got another order for this and yeah so he wants to pack orders so i'm gonna print stuff off for him to pack also the other day he wanted to make boxes so yeah we made boxes together and we were just like listening to an audiobook so that was quite nice it kind of felt like we were doing a bit of a like a box off like a challenge to see like who could do <laughs> the uh the most boxes in the quickest time but yeah so i think i'm gonna have my breakfast finish off this illustration get started on the next one and yeah and i'm gonna print off orders for Tom to pack. So yeah, I will check back in with you a little bit later. Also, I found the cutest message from Tom on my whiteboard, look. Be kind to yourself and he drew a little picture. I don't know if this is me <laughs> or if this is him or just a nice little picture of someone, but yeah, isn't he sweet? So I've come up with the next rust for day four and day five. So day four is autumn picnic. So there's a couple of characters having, I thought it'd be cute to have like a large picnic basket and then it's like they're sort of helping themselves to the picnic. And then I've got this character like upside down on the handle. And then so that's for autumn picnic and then day five is cozy night in so i've got a couple in like a nice fluffy sock watching tv and it's kind of like the tv would be like the size of a cinema or something and so they're having like little bits of popcorn or quite large bits of popcorn and they're watching some sort of period <laughs> film or something maybe pride and prejudice but yeah i just thought i would work on getting a few of the roughs sorted just because if i work out what i want to do like sort of come up with the ideas and the composition then i'm kind of sorted obviously drawing it like making the proper illustration will take a little bit longer but yeah if i've Coming up with the ideas is sometimes like the challenging bit. Yeah, so I've got two more days to do. So I'm going to work on doing the rough for those first. And then I'll, yeah, get started on the final illustrations. Good morning. It is Thursday. Ah. 
it's really sunny yeah i'm feeling a little bit more kind of on top of things i've mostly finished today's prompt um drawing thingy my ipad is telling me that it is nearly two o'clock it is not nearly two o'clock it is about nine o'clock yeah feeling a little bit more on top of things uh this is where we're up to with today's prompt so i did most of this yesterday yeah i'm feeling really pleased now that i've done all the roughs as well i've got all of them sorted i kind of feel like i know what i'm doing a lot more <laughs> which is good because yeah sometimes it can take a while coming up like just with the idea and if you're kind of feeling a little bit under pressure not i mean this this whole like drawing challenges are meant to be fun and they are fun but when you're kind of thinking about other things that you need to do as well, sometimes it can be like a little bit of pressure and then you feel like all your good ideas just um, go out the window. So I'm really pleased that I'd already decided that I wanted to do these all with my like tiny people because then I at least have like a starting point of what to do. Um, so I'm pleased that I'd already decided that. I think this one is gonna be really cute the one for tomorrow of them <laughs> this little couple in a sock watching a movie uh yes yeah, so i think i'm gonna crack on with that and i finished the audiobook that i was listening to it's really good actually i liked the like two person perspective and how it was like yeah the woman and her grandmother my, sis my sister recommended that book to me um so now i'm listening to like a science fiction book i'm not very far into it can you see it's coming out really bright because it's really sunny so i'm on chapter 17 already but the chapters are actually really so short um but it's like a science fiction book and it is about yeah the main guy he lives in a version of our world where like technology is amazing then somehow um we don't know exactly what happens but there's some kind of time travel involved um and somehow he ends up in like our reality and it kind of feels like a dystopian world to him i really like sci-fi films i don't know if i read that much sci-fi so yeah I'm trying to read a bit more sci-fi yeah so I, i'm probably gonna listen to that a little bit and also watch some studio vlogs and stuff um yeah and just carry on drawing which is from Leanne. Um, she has a YouTube channel and she was doing a Kickstarter for like bookish pins. So yeah, I'll put like her links in the description. And let me just flip this round and then you can see what's in this package. I'm excited. Oh, the, the tissue paper's lovely. So I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is her like Etsy shop. <gasps> oh, it's so lovely. <gasps> and some sweeties. Oh, it's really big. <gasps> oh, I like the back as well. I love how I'm showing you the back before the front, but I really like these little hearts. Oh, oh it's lovely. Yeah, when I saw that Leanne was doing these bookish pins, I had to get one. And I had to get one in the bath <laughs> because, yeah, most of my books end up a bit kind of wrinkly because that's where I read most of the time, unless it's an audiobook. And then I can, like, be drawing and listening to something at the same time. Oh, it's so nice. And she was doing these in a few different, like, colours as well. I assume that you can still get these. It was for a Kickstarter. 
but yes I will put like all of her details in oh I'm so excited and it's got confetti and here's all of her details if you want to go and follow her it has been raining like non-stop today but it's very relaxing I'm having some toast and I've made my own <laughs> for anyone who remembers the peanut butter marmite that I got ages ago I've been making my own just basically blending peanut butter <laughs> and marmite together in case you were wondering I never knew it was a thing and I really like it pretty much peanut butter anything is good I'm doing the fluffy sock that they're in I would like to work on my people a little bit more because I find that when I'm drawing like from a photograph um like using sort of reference and stuff um my people <laughs> look a lot better but then I always like I never really want to just like copy something so if it's my own photograph I'm like you know fine with that but then but if I'm trying to like draw another character as well then I'd like have to change their face and stuff like that and just like use it for the pose. A while ago I did these illustrations that was like um I took a load of my like old family photographs and actually that was like the first video that I did. I really like how those ones came out but if I'd if I'd tried to come up with like that composition or whatever um and like draw my family from my memory <laughs> then they would have ended up looking like cartoony like these people. But yeah I do I do like what I've created. I kind of have like a sort of cartoony style for from when things are like coming from my head and then it's like a little bit different if it's from a photograph let me know if yeah if you have similar stuff i think i think maybe it means that i need to like practice anatomy more or i don't know but like some sometimes as well like i'll see other people's illustrations and it'll be very cartoony and yeah I'll just think oh that looks like so cute and like I really like it. I guess the other thing is I'm not very good at keeping things simple exactly like I like things to have a lot of detail but yeah and I think when I did my berry people obviously I spent a really really long time like working on those um and that was like traditional pencil illustration but yeah let me know in in the comments if you take part in any like drawing challenges and if you find it difficult to like produce something that you're like 100% happy with and like does that matter like is it you know maybe sometimes it is just about kind of exploring an idea because yeah I think the ideas that I've come up with are quite fun like these two characters in a sock watching a movie and I guess you can always do the drawing prompts and it can all be like quite quick and then you can always like go back to things and like redo stuff so I guess I could always do that if I'm if I'm not completely 100% happy with something I can have another go at it drawing prompts the other thing I wanted to let you guys know is that my zine spooky cozy autumn is going to be back on my shop so this is actually a collection of some inktober drawings that I made and they're actually all like scanned in collages and they're all kind of like spooky characters like ghosts and witches and this spider creature and gorgon it's kind of funny but I actually made a bit of a typo spelling mistake here and I've written Gordons instead of Gorgons. What I actually meant to write was Gorgons as in the kind of Medusa um, type of creature. But yeah so here is a little lick through so if you want to grab a copy of this it is going to be on my Etsy shop which will be linked in the description as always. I like this page. <laughs> Not Frankenstein. Frankenstein. 
So I didn't actually film an outro to this vlog, so I thought that I would wrap it up now. It is now actually the 2nd of October, um, so I completed all of autumn week, and yeah, as soon, I'd already decided I'm not doing Inktober or any kind of like drawing challenge in October, and then yesterday I was like, <laughs> I was feeling so tempted to draw something but I, I've actually been making stickers and in the next vlog actually you will see me making the stickers. So I didn't do anything for Inktober yesterday but I have actually started working on um, something for Peachtober but I think I'm going to take a really chilled approach to it and like I might only do one prompt from the drawing challenge. I'm already a day behind anyway, um, but yeah, I've already decided that I'm not gonna be completing the whole month. If one of the prompts like inspires me to draw something, then that's really good, but I'm not gonna be like, I have to get it done on this day or whatever. I'm just gonna, yeah, if it takes me like a week to draw it, then that's fine. If I only do like five prompts or two prompts <laughs> that is also fine i had this idea for one for the first prompt and i was like i really want to do it that's the thing as well sometimes it's nice to like take the pressure off so yeah let me know if you're taking part in any kind of drawing challenge at the moment and are you really kind of like strict with it or do you like bend the rules lots and yeah this is going to be the end of the video i am sending you lots and lots of love i hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful week and i will see you in the next video when i make stickers yay thank you for coming i know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile Make sure